Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a recovery partition of Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, similar to brand name computers. And I'm also going to show you how to use it to recover your PC. Now, for this tutorial, I'm using IOMI One Key Recovery. The link is in the description box below. You can download it, it's free, or read how it works. Now, once installed, go ahead and run it. Click yes to the UAC if prompted and select one key system backup. Now here you have two options. The first option is for most users that has just one hard drive installed on their PC. This will create a partition on the C drive. The second option will create a partition on an internal or external additional hard drive or even a USB if you have one and if it's big enough. Now I'll leave it default because most users just have one drive. Click next and this is my only drive. Do not select the system reserve. The system reserve is too small to hold the uh, backup. Now select the C drive. C drive being your operating system drive. and click on next. Now this is how your hard drive looks now and this is how it's going to look after creating the recovery partition. The recovery partition size varies depending on how much information you have stored on your C drive. Click start backup. This warning is just telling you that it needs to restart to create the recovery partition. So click yes. Now once it restart, it will start creating that partition. Also, I'm going to fast forward the process, but this process might take a long time depending again on how much information you have stored on your C drive. Now once it restart, you'll see this um, boot entry on the bootloader. It'll last like three seconds. I'll show you how to use that to recover your system later. Now go to disk management and you'll notice that uh, that partition created by IOMI recovery partition. Now I'm going to show you how to recover from this partition in case you have a virus or your computer is not working as it used to. Restart your PC now we're going to use that entry from the bootloader. You need to pay close attention because if you miss it, it will continue on booting uh, to your operating system. Now this will last like 3 seconds so you need to pay close attention. Once you see this, click on the down arrow key on your keyboard so it won't continue on booting to the operating system and select enter into a OMI one key recovery. Press enter. A pop-up will come up asking you if you need to recover your system. Here it is. Click yes. If it doesn't come up, you can always click on IOMI system recovery and it'll take you to the same place. Now here, you can read carefully, but since I only have one drive, it auto detected the drive to restore. In case you have multiple drive or you have additional partitions, read carefully and select the proper partition to restore. Now in this case I'm restoring C drive is already selected. Click a start. Again I'm going to fast forward the process but remember it can take a while in case you have a lot of information. Close all remaining windows and once you restart you'll be back again to the date you created that recovery partition. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.